How's it going guys? My name is Rogue Ghost and welcome to 10 beginner tips for Dark and Darker for those of you who just got into the game, just found out about it, or even those of you who have played for a bit and just want to know some stuff. Let's begin. Alright guys, coming in at tip number one, we have destructible objects. Things like pots and crates can be broken for jewelry, gold, and gear from the crates. Moving further on that, we've got things like these destructible walls, which can be broken to open up paths that you previously couldn't go to and might even open up an escape. For tip number two, we have movement while healing. A lot of people believe from like battle rails and stuff that you have to be sitting still while you're popping a band-aid or a surgical kit, but that's not the case. You can jump around or just move any direction you want while applying bandages, and sometimes it can be the difference between life and death. Coming in at tip number three, you gotta know where your sword's at. A lot of the time people think that where they swing is where it's gonna hit, but that's not always the case. It can bounce off of walls, ceilings, and especially the, the spears and halberds, you never know where those are going to go unless you're paying really close attention. Not only does this apply for you, but it applies for other people. If you're using a shield, you got to know where your enemy's attacking. If you're able to block where the sword's going to hit, then you're not going to take that damage, and you got a fair counter. Moving on to tip number four, you're going to want to prep your portals. This can come in handy when you've got an enemy you're going to attack, but you also need an easy escape. In this case, he got out of there, but say I got into a fight with him and it was to his advantage. I could easily just dip down the tunnel and get out of there with all my loot. Tip 5. Sell all your valuables. I promise there's nothing else you can do with them. Such a beginner tip, but some people don't know. Just sell it, get some gold, buy some gear, load into the next match, forget all about it. It doesn't matter. Tip number 6 is to use light sources to your advantage. You could open up a chest like a normal person just out in the open and get away with it, or you could turn off all the braziers and, and all sorts of lights to shroud this area with darkness, loot up the treasure box, and get off. You can also use this to heal up, in this case I'm really low health, things stab me anyway. Uh, I could lay down in the corner in the darkness and heal my health. Tip number 7 is another simple one. You can use campfires to regenerate not only health, but you can also get your abilities up. Like in this case, my second wind's going up, which is a very useful ability to have endgame. Tip number 8 is to always aim for the head. It gives a huge damage bonus, and you can even sometimes one-tap something weaker like a rogue, or in this case a warlock, easy two-tap to the head. Coming in at tip number 9, we have mining for ores. Usually people will mine for ore to make gear, or sell it to a trader, which you don't get much money on. Instead, what you could do, especially early on, mine, mine the ore, get a pickaxe from the woodsman if you need it, and then after you get all the ore, you can head over to the trade tab. So the trade tab, you want to go to the miscellaneous trade. In there, you'll see how much people are selling it for. Usually it's a decent bit. Just try to match the price, see if you can get a good sell. Easy gold. Finally, tip number 10. You can double hit goblins like I just did right there. And the goblins will hit each other if you line up the swords. This works for every creature. And lastly, for a little bonus tip. If you've got something like a boss chasing you, or even in PvP, a, a player running at you, what you can do is go to the other side of these doors and just shut it. They can't get past that. Beginner tip, but, you know, it's a bonus. Alright guys, there's 10 beginner, intermediate, or even advanced tips, if you didn't know them, for Dark and Darker. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing. I'm on the journey to making this a full-time job one day, as this is what I'm passionate about and what I enjoy doing. But on that note, have a good, wonderful... Afternoon, day, night, whatever you have, and I hope to see you around.